Mm -hmm. um, I'm just going to start by saying I'm a bit scared of you right now. Why? Because your character's a little bit scary. <laughs> 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 but what's the appeal of playing someone like a villain? Um, obviously, you're known for very family-friendly characters. Um. Well, I challenge you, first of all, I don't think he is a villain. I think he is a family-friendly, uh, misunderstood <laughs> guy who's just trying to keep his house tidy. Um, and he doesn't like people breaking in and giving him a hard time. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was good fun to play, put it that way. Hello? His credits are huge because he's yeah he's he's so he's exceptional in this basically you know really really committed really focused actor and it was it was a pleasure to kind of work with him and, and see you know the, how how he does how he does his thing yeah what yeah. about for you what what did you kind of think going into it that's what I expected him to be lovely <laughs> you know? and then this is yeah. you know you'll see that this is a different yeah well Bayer is the word <laughs> but Hugh, Hugh himself is a, is a wonderful man well, and yes. I, as as Perth said it was just. Just kind of admiring him yeah. as an actor. Hugh Bonneville was my top choice and Great. was very stubborn about that actually. And um, <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, and, and George McCry, such a fan of George, and he's an incredible, talented actor. And and um, so when he he was the first one who signed on, and I sent a script to him, and I was really nervous. He read it in 24 hours. He called me the next day, and I got a missed call, and I was like, oh my god, what is he gonna say? And, I, and, I, and then I called him back and he said, I, I really want to do this. And I was so honored, you yeah. know. I, I play Toby, who is uh, a, kind of, a kind of firecracker of a, <laughs> of a, of a, of a young man, like who's basically, um, he's railing against the powers that be, yeah. basically. And, and that is his mission statement. And that is kind of his whole, his whole world. And I guess, yeah, Jay, Jay's a very sort of loyal, uh, loyal character and um, a lot about the film as well is, is I guess the question of right and wrong and yeah. Jay's you know just trying to you know put all the pieces together and keep everything together you know and of course what difference have we really made get inside their homes any time we won you're 23 and what have you achieved you need to let me get on with my life highlights from filming at all or anything that sticks out in your mind that was particularly fun or memorable uh, it, it was <laughs> it was um, a lot of fun uh, there's a kiln um, involved and uh, and I, I I've always enjoyed pottery, so um, so so throwing a bit of clay was was good fun. You've been a ghost fan in the past. Yes, exactly. <laughs> All I need is a bit of Demi Moore. It's a pretty dark film. Um, was the set kind of quite serious, or did you have like fun on set, or how would you describe it? <laughs> yeah. I think we all just really believed in the, you know the script, and we right. were so excited about the film. So I think we kind of just all threw ourselves into it, basically. But yeah, yeah definitely, it was it was such an enjoyable experience. Mm. Yeah, yeah, totally. And uh, there's a sort of thrill to making something scary. Yeah. Yeah. To be the people behind the, the scare <laughs> yeah. is quite is quite fun. You know, it's a kind of like you feel like you're kind of in on a big secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it was fun. We we all had fun, and that's also. All the actors, hats off to them. They're such professionals. So it wasn't like very somber sort of uh, intense feeling on the set. You know, you just when the camera was rolling, it was all everyone was focused, and then um, and then yeah, back to normality. And it was fun. <laughs> Certain scenes, like when I was blocking it with the actors, uh, there was like one particular scene that like you know you have like your crew show. So we I block it with the actors, and then the crew come to watch to see what's happening. And then a uh, lovely Hugh Bonneville, after he finished the scene, turned around and half of the crew were like this, because <laughs> he's so good. And, and yeah, so it was it was fun and he laughed. I spoke to Balak earlier about a scene where um, apparently all the cast, uh, the crew were watching and then they were all hiding behind their, their hands after a certain scene. How do you lighten the mood after a, after a kind of you know, dark scene. Well, How when do you you've do got that? props that don't work, or <laughs> or actors like me who forget their lines, then um, it's quite easy to break the mood. Did you have any of those moments where everyone was kind of a bit like on tenderhooks so after certain scenes? <laughs> yeah, no, nah, Toby doesn't get scared. <laughs> <laughs> Toby's never scared. No, not me. <laughs> yeah, I'm never an Air Force, but <laughs> no, I, I had a different experience. Um, Hugh, basically, in the beginning, was uh, we had some sort of we got some 
scenes where it was quite physical. So um, we, uh, yeah. we we spoke about it briefly and um, we kind of, you know, agreed, okay, well, you know, this the way that we, we might do it on the day of filming. But mm. then, you know, on the actual day itself, you know, Hugh just, yeah, he, he goes for it, you know, and I, lo I love that so much about him. You say it skews dark, obviously, understatement. A lot of it's very dark. <laughs> but there is one moment in the film where I had a little chuckle where Kelly McDonald's character's watching Baker. Yeah. Where did that come from? What was the thinking but she's in choosing that show, obviously it's kind of the most relaxed sort of. That was exactly the reason. I used to watch Bake Off, uh, you know, with my ex and like, it was, I always used to think, oh, this is such a lovely, cozy <laughs> thing to do. And without realizing all the like, the horrors that happening and they were all outside, you're just sitting at home like, ah, people making cakes. <laughs> <laughs> so so that was exactly the reason. That was even in the script I put it, that uh, it's, it's Bake Off that's being watched. Yeah, yeah. I did wonder if that was came from you, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I, liked, I liked the fact that it made it a little bit more lighthearted at that moment. Well, there are lighthearted <laughs> moments in the film. You know, at points, we don't take ourselves too seriously. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a movie, it's a thriller. Yeah. Hopefully people will have a lot of fun watching it. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, well, what I quite, quite like was surprised is like, you don't expect a high court judge to be sitting there, you know, chuckling away at Rick and Morty and um, <laughs> yes. things like that. And, um, and being a house proud character, asking people to take their shoes off. So I, I, I did that to the crew as well. I said, can you take your shoes off? Because it's my house and I want everything to be nice. I don't want my carpet ruined. Yeah, like it was um, your own. Yeah, exactly. It is, you know, very much my own house. Um, so no, it was a good, it was a good, it was a very good atmosphere on set and um, a, a very hard working crew. I guess there's like so much coming on kind of Netflix, streamers, um, linear at the moment. Why yeah. do you think people should kind of stop what they're doing and watch this when it comes out that weekend? I think uh, for for me, I just think I'm I'm I've, I've always like I just love exp I love films that just take me on a, on a journey, yeah, take me on an experience. It does that. And I think <laughs> yeah, like when I read the script, I just you can visualize. I could I was seeing the film in pictures in my head, and that's when I was like, yeah, I know this film. There's something really special about it, basically, and I just can't wait for everybody just to kind of go on that that same roller coaster, that journey, mm. um, and just experience it, whether yeah. or not you're watching it in the cinema or at home. Yeah, um, you know, you can you're gonna go for, yeah you're gonna go on that roller coaster that like, regardless yeah yeah what do you think in terms yeah getting people to kind of stop what they're doing and watch this one i, I, th I think it demands it That's yeah the thing. i think it demands it i think you also like you know maybe a bit, it's a bit brash of us but i think if you sit down and start it you won't be able to turn it off <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, genuinely because i think it's different i think it's fresh and i think you've got a fantastic um, principal cast in, in, yep. in uh, george and kelly and percy and then uh I come and ruin it, but uh, it's. Uh, I think it's. It's just. A, he just. I think he's just a really interesting filmmaker, uh, mm. and and it does, as I say, throw up some questions about the way we tolerate or don't tolerate what's going on around us. I can't just give up the fight. What were you doing outside his house anyway? Hector's hiding something. I really tried <laughs> to be kind. But I had this rage that was so liberating, so empowering. Do you want to know what happened?